Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Triboelectric Tuesdays, where we dive into the technique of separating botanical particles using static electricity. If you're curious about this topic, keep watching. Static electricity is utilized in industry to separate and concentrate plant products. For example, it could separate components in a mixture, such as starch from corn, or concentrate protein in soy. Challenge number one, decapitation. In order to concentrate a particle, it needs to be liberated. This brings us to the first challenge in separating glandular botanical trichomes. The trichome head produces terpenes and cannabinoids and is connected to the plant or bract by a stalk. The stalks act as a pipeline for the head secretory cells to produce these chemicals, but has no value otherwise and must be removed. The connection between the stalk and the head is known as the abscission point. Ideally, heads detach from stalks during extraction, but sometimes stalks break off the bract while still attached to the head due to factors such as extraction technique, equipment, plant maturity, and environmental conditions. Static electricity can effectively separate heads from stalks, but only if stalks are not physically attached to the head. This can be done manually by rubbing particles on a screen or cloth in a rotating motion to make heads roll and separate from stalks. Using a nylon mesh can also sort particles, and since heads are often larger in diameter than stalks, the holes in the mesh snag stalks and shear off the head during rotation. There are also mechanical methods that utilize a similar process with a mesh and rotation. Instead of manual rotation, a trommel-like device rolls particles over the mesh until most stalks get caught in the mesh holes and separate from the head. By making the particles brittle, we can improve this process, which is done by modifying temperature, using nitrogen, carbon dioxide, or other methods. The importance of decapitation cannot be understated, as it is impossible to concentrate if particles are not liberated. The process in theory is simple, yet the execution has proved challenging. If done manually, the process is time-consuming and it can take over an hour for a trained person to process a kilo of powder. Mechanically processing automates, but has its own issues such as particle agglomeration. The particle electrically charges and forms balls. Blinding of the mesh screen. The mesh clogs and the process stops. Damage of trichome heads. The heads pop and release sticky residue, resulting in losses and poor system performance. Incomplete or uneven process where stocks may be ground into a fine powder and some may not have decapitated at all. Before we finish, I'd like to know if you have experience or ideas about this process. How would you solve this issue? If so, please share in the comments below. Thanks for watching.